guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing if advent calendars are a scam. Now I'm a lover of an advent calendar, I truly truly am, but I'm starting to see straight through them, you know? I'm starting to see straight through the deception and lies. Um, so I thought today we'd discuss that and of course I've got no makeup on at the moment so I thought I'd put some makeup on whilst we're talking about this topic. I've got some new things slash things I've never tried before so new to me and just some old classics just chucked in here just to kind of create the full phase of makeup I suppose so um, I won't really be talking about the makeup as such I might just talk about it as we go through or at the end if I have some major thoughts to give you so yeah that's what we're going to be discussing today and if you're new here hello welcome my name is Meg and I like to talk about all the superficial things around here all the things that don't really matter but bring us a little bit of joy in the everyday grind that can be life we talk about all the things makeup skincare hair care homeware and fashion we talk about them all in some capacity mostly beauty but I do dabble in all of those subjects on my channel so if that sounds like a little bit of you then hit subscribe join my family join my circle of trust and let's get straight into this I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing with my face. So the thing is with advent calendars, I'm just going to go in with the Mono Skin Illuminating Primer. I don't know, I never tried it so I thought I'd try it today. Uh, the thing is with advent calendars is that they are very inviting, they're fun. And I think the most expensive advent calendars a couple of years ago, like I feel like advent calendars have really come into their own in the past, I'd say three years if I'm really honest. I think in the past three years, advent oh that's my nice. The advent calendars have started becoming a bit more of a fashion trend when it comes to Christmas time um, and they're almost like everyone's hopping on the bandwagon everyone is creating an advent calendar I'm specifically talking about beauty advent calendars I should probably should have prefaced this whole video but I'm sure you probably would have gathered that I'm not talking about chocolate advent calendars or anything like that they've been going on for a while but I'm specifically talking about beauty advent calendars today and I think like I said they've really come into their own in the past three maybe three to five years but I think the past three years um, I've really seen this ramp up in beauty advent calendars now of course we know the makeup industry has uh, become very very profitable in this last five years and people are making brands we're seeing celebrity brands we're seeing loads of brands pop up we're seeing releases every single week we're seeing this fast fashion industry uh, within the makeup world so it's not surprising that everyone wants a little bit of the cake everyone wants a little bit of the pie whatever dessert you would like to analogize with that everyone wants a little bit of it i'm gonna go into the anastasia beverly hills foundation i got mine in the shade 130n if this is too yellow then well it might be okay actually i think i might have made this work boo yes girl i've got to say i've been a lover of beauty advent calendars they really excite me and every year i felt myself like I couldn't choose. I couldn't choose what I wanted. I couldn't choose how many I wanted. So I was buying one, two, three advent calendars. I think in 2019, I purchased three advent calendars, which is maybe, did I purchase four or did I purchase three? I can't quite remember. Uh, I think I purchased three. Oh God, I hope it wasn't four. That's embarrassing if it was. And it gets to the point where it's like, at what point are we gonna slow down, Megan? At what point are we gonna slow down? Uh, last year I had two. I had the Feel Unique one and the Glossy Box one. I've got too much beauty products. I don't need more stuff. It's just alluring me in. And I think in the past when it came to advent calendars, I used to just be like, I want all of this. I'm gonna buy the advent calendar because I'm saving money. Now, when we're talking about buying three advent calendars that range from 50 to 100 pounds and I'm spending 200 pounds on say three advent calendars which is I think what I did in 2019 it's crazy it's crazy but that's what I did but for 200 pounds I got a lot of product and I was really happy with them and they excited me and it was fun but I'm starting to see and I don't know if anyone else is seeing this trend because advent calendars are so hyped now the price is oiking up when we start seeing these prices oiking up to easily over 100 pounds for like the feel unique one was over 100 pounds i'll see if i can get some pictures to the left of me i print screened quite a few okay so here we go i'm gonna pop some up on the screen look fantastics one is 85 pounds uh, it's very heavily skincare based i'm sure i'm you know honestly at the point of filming this i'm not sure if some of these are sold out or not i've just been print screening them and just adding them to my folder on my phone so not sure if all of these are sold out i'm not going to link them because i think i don't want to go find the links to things that are already sold out there's no point in doing that so this is the look fantastic advent calendar as an example this is 85 pounds i feel like 
this is the sort of price I would expect from a beauty advent calendar. I'd say the 50 to 100 pound mark is the ballpark I'd be willing to pay for a very good advent calendar, right? So this is 85. I've got to say, nothing in here intrigues me. We've got the same Nars Orgasm mini blush. It's not even full size, mini blush. We've got uh, other things like the Kate Somerville. That's quite nice. Kate Somerville does do nice skincare. We've got like nice brands. But if I'm really honest, just nothing really excited me about that at all. It was just 85 pounds that would be burnt for me. Like there'd be no point because I probably wouldn't use all the products in there. So for me, it was a straight pass. ASOS actually came out with one this year as well. I think they came out with one last year actually saying that. Um, and this was 75 pounds. So this is like straight in the middle of the ballpark. Again, that'd be willing to pay. So like what I would call a medium price beauty advent calendar. I'd say the cheaper ones are like £40, that's probably the lowest you're going to find one with half decent products. So ASOS did this one and it had some really good products in there to be fair. It had like a nice gua sha, it had some makeup, had a few Urban Decay, MAC, some lashes. It had a few brands, Olaplex, The Ordinary, Origins, LMS, Iconic London. There was a few brands in there that I really liked and I thought, oh, go you ASOS. However, upon further inspection of all the products, I and I think I'm going to talk about this and probably repeat myself a thousand times so I do apologize but I started to break down what I actually wanted out of this advent calendar and say for example just this ASOS one the all-nighter face primer I've already got the full size so I don't want that there's a comb in there a nail file I don't want that so that's already three products in there the Dr. Paul Paul Balm it's lovely but I don't want that that's four products the lashes are lovely, but do I need them? Probably not. Five products. The Clinique, even better balm thing. Six products I don't need. I don't want anything from that right hand side, so that's seven, eight, nine products I don't need. Uh, the tiny Charlotte Magic Cream I could be open to, but it's just a small size, so whatever. The Gua Sha is nice, don't need it. The Egyptian Magic... So you can see where I'm going with this. Although they're beautiful products and they are truly lovely, I was just kind of like, actually, when I look at these things individually, I want none of this. So it would be £75 for nothing. And I think this is kind of where I'm going with the cult beauty one as well. I feel very passionately about the cult beauty one because I feel like upon first glance, it looks like an amazing calendar and it truly is. You've got a mix of makeup, skincare, hair care, um, health, like to, to digest and things like that. And they're all pretty good sizes. Like this is the picture that I've got here for you so you can kind of see. I don't actually have a list because it says that it's out of stock, so it's not actually giving me the profile for it. But it's got a lot of products in there that I really, really like. Really amazing brands and really good sizes. And I was looking at it as if to say, okay, if I was shopping cult beauty and everything was full price, obviously, what would I actually put in my basket? Now those Rowan eyeshadows look really lovely. Um, the Vive lip oil looks nice, but I'm not actually that bothered about it. The Charlotte Tilbury single looks nice. The Super Goop thing looks nice. There was like a handful of things I pay full price for. And the thing is, is those handful of things that I pay full price for didn't even come to the full value of the advent calendar, obviously, because there are only a few things in the advent calendar. So I was kind of thinking, well, I could just have less in my life, pay less and just get the things I wanted or wait for a coupon code and just pick those things up instead of picking up this monstrosity of an advent calendar. And it's going to set me back quite a significant chunk of money if I decided to purchase it. So I decided to skip on it this year. And whilst I was on Cult Beauty surveying this, by the way, this foundation is really nice. That was just like one pump. I might just do one more pump just to even out a bit more. Whilst I was on Cult Beauty, I was just like, I wonder if they sell any other advent calendars that aren't their own. And they do. They sell the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'll just flash up the picture now for you. This is £150. So this is an expensive advent calendar, right? This isn't, this isn't cheap. This is £150. £150. And I started to look at the contents. And again, I started to do this thing of if everything, if I was just shopping the Charlotte Tilbury website and obviously everything is full price, there's no discount, what would I actually put in my basket? What do I actually want out of this advent calendar? And I wanted the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, but it's a small size anyway, so uh, I, I'm kind of not getting my value for money there anyway. The lipstick is lovely. Do I need another lipstick? Probably not. The setting spray is lovely and the beauty one's lovely. I'm not bothered about the eye crayon thing. Oh, the legendary lashes is nice, but it's a mini. So I'm kind of looking at these things, I'm like, actually, I just want the makeup and the cream. The three masks, like the three skincare products on the side, I'm not bothered. And the three pencil products to the right, I'm not bothered. So that's one, oh, and the droppy magic serum, I'm not bothered. So that's one, two, three, four, five products. And one, no, two of them are full size. So I'm kind of like, well, 
why would I pay £150 for that then? I could just get a little kit, like the Pillow Talk lip kit I think is out there, or the Pillow Talk kit where you get the mascara in there as well. The Magic Cream is always in a bundle for Christmas and is like their staple product, so you'll always find that there. The Beauty Wand, I could probably catch on a deal in a duo somewhere and actually get more for my money. So you start looking at these things and you start going, actually, it's a hard pass for me, fam. <laughs> it's a hard pass. I think the Cult Beauty one does have the best brands in it. I think Cult Beauty, if I've got to be honest, has the best selection, but I'm not paying that price. I'm just not doing it. Like, I don't care how good it is. It's a scam. It's an absolute scam. Like, you're getting loads of your money, yeah, but would you even buy that to begin with? There was Hum tablets in there. I think you saw it in the picture. I wouldn't have bought those. Are they just trying to basically lure you in with those amazing products that actually you wouldn't have bought otherwise? Like if they were in a bundle deal, would you have bought them? I wouldn't have done. I've decided, I think I'm done with advent calendars. I think after last year of creating my own advent calendar or rather Jake, bless him, my boyfriend Jake, he took the time to help me uh, go through my makeup collection and he picked 24 products out of my own makeup collection and just filled an old advent calendar full of products that I already own and I had to use that product every day and it was like, you're forced to use this bronzer. And I'm like, damn, I haven't used that in a while. So I'm kind of like, I don't need more products in my life. And if I am gonna introduce more products in my life, I want to be very specific about what they are and I don't want stuff. I don't want stuff for the sake of having stuff. I want to be specific about what I buy. I want to be tactical about what I buy. I don't wanna buy loads and loads and loads of dupes of things or just buy things because they're good value for money. Like, I don't care. I don't care. And that's why I do think like advent calendars are becoming a bit of a scam. I don't think they were two, three years ago. I think they were great fun. I think they still are, but I think they were great fun. They were a way of people sampling loads of products um, for a decent price. You know, you got a lot of bang for your buck, but nowadays, like how can you say you're getting a lot of bang for your buck when you're paying you know, two to three hundred pounds. I think anything upwards of a hundred pounds, it's just like, it makes me want to gag a little bit. Um, I don't understand how that's good value because actually, unless you want 75% of that advent calendar and you'd have paid full price for it anyway, you're not saving anything. You're just spending and getting loads of stuff that you probably wouldn't have bought otherwise. I'm gonna go into the BH Cosmetics Naughties Remix, like the Dance Remix palette. I've been really excited to play around with this palette. I might do like a smoky, a smoky eye. I really, really like this top, <gasps> these top rows, it's beautiful. I've been on a low buy, no buy this year where I'm allowing myself to purchase only twice a year and that was kind of around this time of like Black Friday for November slash Christmas shopping, that sort of thing. Like November, December, I wasn't quite sure but I was only gonna allow myself to do like purchasing now in terms of like, don't do loads and loads and loads of orders but just like, if you're gonna shop, shop now at this time of year. Um, and then shopping on my birthday month to sort of, you know, halfway through the year in June to make myself happy, perk myself up for summer. And because I've been doing that and because I've been doing like a monthly wish list, again, I'll link up the playlist in the eye. Doing that monthly wish list has really helped me see the wood from the trees, I'll be honest, because I used to be such an impulsive purchaser. And I think I like there's still traits of that in me where I like really do impulsively purchase. I'm really trying to knock that out of my system and make really smart shopping decisions. You know, do I love it? Do I think this is gonna be my everything? Then I'll buy it. Do I just like it? Maybe I can wait for a bit, catch on a discount. Don't pay full price for anything. Like that's kind of my motto. I think that's been my motto for like my whole of my life. I'm like, I don't pay full price for anything, girl. Like, no. So I think when it comes to the advent calendar season, I felt like I was talking in Bridgerton then. The season of advent calendars is nigh. And let's be honest, advent calendars actually started going on sale like in September, which hurts my soul. So, you know, I'm maybe talking about this a little bit too late, but I refuse to talk about anything Christmassy before November like hell no like I just can't do it girl uh so yeah I, I don't know I just think advent calendars are becoming an absolute uncontrollable beast and they are becoming a scam they used to be fun they used to be affordable or I say affordable I throw that around but you know I think 60 pounds is far more approachable maybe not I shouldn't use the word affordable uh, approachable than two to three hundred pounds. I think that's actually morbidly disgusting. There was a Chanel advent calendar, a Chanel advent calendar, and it was 800 pounds. Are you ready to listen to this hot fire trash, okay? 
door number one, you get a perfume sample of 0 0.05 fluid ounces. You then get a little tree ornament, um, you get a hand cream, you get a black and white pouch. God knows what that pouch is for, but you get one of them. You get some keyboard stickers, um, you get another little tree ornament shaped as a snow globe, kind of cute. Um, you get a miniature sized lipstick in a red shade. You get a ceramic bottle shaped thing that smells of a perfume. You get another sticker that resembles a wax seal, that sounds really worth it. You get a full size nail polish, you get a magnetic bookmark, you get another um, perfume sample that's 0 0.05 fluid ounces, you get a ceramic bracelet, another three piece sticker set, another key ring, um, you get a lipstick case, you get a mirror, you get another, oh my god, another 3D sticker. You get a key ring, another key ring. Um, you get an animated flip book. So for all the 12 year olds buying this $800 um, Aving Helder, you get an animated flip book, that's great. You get a full size number five eau de perfume spray. It's 1.2 fluid ounces. You get another bookmark. Is this like four now, what? Um, you get some bath soap, some more stickers, literally 12 days of stickers. Um, you get a pin, some body cream, and a bracelet. So you're essentially paying nearly a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars, whatever. You're paying an actual monthly wage on stickers, perfume samples, and just like general crap. So congratulations to you if you bought that. Congratulations. 800 pounds. Are you joking? Are you joking? Like, I don't understand it. I can't fathom it. I don't understand it. I just feel concussed by that information. Um, and that, to me, is a sign that it's just out of control. That is out of control. At no point should anyone be paying that much money for an advent calendar. I don't care who you are, Chanel. No, that's disgusting. Oh, that made me think of that meme, the parrot. Chanel! You know, the one. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. I bloody love that meme. Chanel! Oh, it just flew away, I'll be gone. Chanel! Name Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> A parrot's gone missing. Chanel. Oh, the prizes are just really going up at the moment. I think it's just absolutely obscene. I screenshot a few more actually that I was like laughing at the price. So here we go. The Netta Porter one was two hundred and fifty-five pounds. So same ballpark of the Cult Beauty, actually a tiny bit cheaper. But in here, like yeah, you've got nice brands, but. Who cares? Nothing excited me in this one. Absolutely nothing. Like there was not one thing in this advent calendar that I was like, yeah, I want that. So that would be £255 down the drain. That's a quarter of a thousand pounds. If you just say it like that, a quarter of a thousand pounds. I mean, <laughs> maths, I know. But that is bloody crazy. I'd have to work practically all week to just buy that advent calendar. It's just absolutely insane. Even John Lewis, and I know John Lewis is like the place to go for bougie beauty. Like they have all the Charlotte Tilbury, Nars, you know, SA Lauder stands, Mac. They have it all, right? They have an advent calendar here for £159. Granted, the products inside do look nice, but they're not £159 nice, okay? I want to be the first to say it, and if I'm the first and the last, fair enough, but I need to say this. It's not worth the money. It's just absolutely obscene. And also, John Lewis, who the bloody hell do you think you are charging £159 for a Poxy Advent calendar? Like, you're just the shop. You're not the brand. You're just the shop. I just can't... I can't fathom it. The box is nice, though. I will give them that. The box has been executed beautifully. Space NK, here's another one. £199 for this Advent calendar. And again... The products inside are nice. There's maybe five things that I like. I think actually this is quite a nice box. You've got a mix of makeup, skincare and other things as well. I think it's a lovely box, but I'll be honest, I'm not, I don't want it for £199. I mean, it's out of stock anyway, so I can't get it. But I don't, I just looked at this and I thought, yeah, I don't want to pay that. I don't want to pay £200 for that calendar. Like, I don't want anything enough to pay £200 for. You know, the products are lovely. They might intrigue me. I might want to try them. But do I want 25 products? Do I want all of this? Nope, not really. Benefit have their advent calendar. This was on ASOS and this was on ASOS. Benefit have their advent calendar and it's £59 for 12 days. Look at this hot fire trash. Look at this hot fire trash. I'm gonna, like, I'm really sorry if you bought this and you love it. Go for your life. I love that you love it. I'm happy that you're happy. Like, at the end of the day, we all earn money and we all, well, most of us earn money and we all do with it as we please right so your money is your money to spend as long as you're sensible 
as long as you are not buying beauty over other important things in life don't use your rent money as beauty money bad decisions bad Ch -ch -ch. squirty bottle bad Ch -ch. don't use life money for beauty stuff bad person no <laughs> you can spend your money on what you want you know but this advent calendar by benefit i think is daylight bloody robbery it's daylight robbery so you get they're all minis in fact actually i think they're dulux samples because i have the minis of some of these mascaras and they're the proper packaging so these are dulux samples they're not minis um yeah they are the minis of the hula and the dandelion are actually bigger than that and they come in the proper box these ones are just the plastic dulux samples so you're going to get in here 12 dulux samples let me repeat that 12 dulux samples 59 pounds what that is daylight robbery right there i think benefit could really do with adopting the body shop style of advent calendar and having this one i think this is like a nice advent calendar but not for the price say if this was 30 pounds so half the price for these dulux samples they're not minis they're dulux samples if you paid 30 pounds for 12 dulux samples i think that's appropriate i think actually that is still expensive if i'm really perfectly honest they definitely don't it, like it definitely doesn't cost that much to put in it doesn't probably doesn't even cost them 10 pounds to construct you know so they're already making quite a significant overhead of that advent calendar let alone for 60 odd bloody quid it's not vile so they could do this one as the dulux samples advent calendar they could then do the minis advent calendar which is like 60 to 70 pounds where it's full of minis like proper minis and not just samples proper minis and it's not like here's two primers four mascaras like they're actually giving you a variety of things you know they're actually giving you some decent products they're giving you a variety and maybe on the final day it's a full size blush i don't know or something right and then further adopting the body shop mentality of advent calendars they can do a full size one which okay might be say 120 pounds 120 pounds usually i'd say the average price of a benefit product is 20 pounds so that is like six products so it's like a really good deal so say they put in a few when i say a few i mean like four dulux minis and eight full-size products that would be amazing and it would be very very doable by benefit that's all i'm saying like they could even include their spoolie brush i love that spoolie brush that could be a full-size product like we're not complaining. I'd rather have the spoolie brush than having another mascara. I mean, I like mascaras, don't get me wrong, love Benefit products. I just think they need to re-look at how they're doing advent calendars. I think every brand needs to step back and just have a look at how they're doing advent calendars because it is literally becoming daylight robbery with some of these. It is becoming daylight bloody robbery. And honestly, I'm not even too sure that the consumer or like the average consumer sees past it because I didn't until the past two years like last year i didn't want to buy more advent calendars not because i didn't want them but because i was like oh i don't need more stuff so that was a personal choice of i don't need more stuff i'm now viewing it through the eyes of that's rip off like that is why why would you pay that like no i think my eyes are done i'm trying to go away and do my brows um, i'm actually going to use the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze which i've not used before but i'm going to go away and just do that and then i'll come back and just be like wow or oh my god help me so i'm going to go do that uh, because we're going to be here for ages otherwise. Okay, I'm back. I put some lashes on because I was like, why not, girl? Why not? I feel a little bit supreme with these lashes on. They are big. I'm a, they're a bit like a Chinook, you know? Like, I feel like I'm going to... An Apache helicopter. I'm about to take off with these. But, like, equally, I'm kind of living. I feel like I'm going to get the lip on and all the cheek and stuff. At the moment, I'm very much blank canvas. These were the Unicorn Flutter Lashes by Unicorn Lashes, one of my favourite lash brands. Um, and then for brows, I mean, I'll just link all in the description bar below. Um, and I'm going to go into my face whilst I discuss this, like, just, just round this video up because I feel like we've been talking a long time about advent calendars being a scam. I want to know, do you buy advent calendars? Is it, you know, as a consumer, are you bought in by them? Do you get excited by them? Do you get intrigued? Have you ever bought an advent calendar? Or have you always thought they were a scam? I am roped into a gift set more than I am an advent calendar nowadays. I feel like gift sets are my new advent calendar where I'm like, Ugh, I want them all, but I don't need them. But I do think gift sets are possibly like the way forward if you just want specific products. So I would definitely recommend, of course, like we've all I mean, if you've got your advent calendar, you've probably already got them already. But if you missed out on an advent calendar that you really wanted this year, do not fear this blush colour, by the way. Oh, stunning. I'm going to go into the Zoeva Screen Queen Highlighting Trio. I got this, funny enough, in an advent calendar. 
one whole year later still haven't used it so I thought to be apt <laughs> I'd use this I want to mix these two together I think I think my final conclusion of it all is just advent calendars are becoming such like a, a fashionable thing nowadays by the way this highlighter is kind of dull what the hell you can't even see it this is highlighters pants okay well there you go good example of a piece of makeup that came in an advent calendar freshly opened that's not a highlighter to me that's like not even a nice subtle highlighter that's just poo so i'm gonna go get another highlighter because hashtag bitterly disappointed let's try this one i think i've got this in a glossy box it's the bella pierre heat wave highlighting palette why not oh yeah that's better that's better <laughs> yeah my conclusion to this is be a smart shopper i'm trying my hardest to be a smarter shopper and don't get sucked in by an advent calendar just because the brands look good like they're going to try their best to make it look as good as they possibly can they're going to put the more expensive more uh, luxe products at the front and they're going to hide some of the stuff that they don't want you to see at the back you know what are the filler products in these advent calendars because i promise you every single advent calendar has filler products in them uh, if you're benefit then you just put filler products in the entire calendar <laughs> maybe you've already got your oven calendar and next year you're going to have a bit more of a deep dive on what you're actually buying and what you actually end up using you know if you buy an oven calendar this year just think about it take it in and actually assess what you use out of that advent calendar because i bet you it is not as much as you thought it was and you would have been better off just buying the three products that you love out of that advent calendar for a cheaper price okay and this is my final look like i said everything that i've used today will be down in the description bar just saying utterly freaking obsessed with this look oh my god i feel like a sexual dream this to me these smoky eyes this is just like how i love it i love this that highlighter is actually very surprising this is just like free and it well, not free but like it was in the glossy box and actually look at that shine baby it's beautiful it's beautiful so yeah as a conclusion i'd love to know what you think of advent calendars if you think they're turning into a bit of a scam if you think they are value for money or do you think like me that gift sets are actually better value for money when it comes to products i personally think they are i think a lot of gift sets are actually a rip-off but like if you do your research and you have a look around gift sets are possibly the best time to buy product throughout the whole year you know and that's why going back to kind of my low buy no buy being a smarter purchaser kind of thing that's been happening this year I think that's why I deliberately said that I was allowed to purchase things at the end of the year as well because that way all year I've been thinking about the makeup I want and then by Christmas it's all in bundle sets and I get it for cheaper and I get more for my money. It's just craziness. So I think that's actually, for me, what I'll be doing next year. Um, I don't think I'll be purchasing a single advent calendar unless I want more than 75% of it because that makes sense. Talk to me down below about what you think about this whole topic. And of course, if you did buy one, let me know which one you bought because I'm genuinely interested in see what is the most popular advent calendar out there at the moment. So yeah, let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Thumbs this video up if you have enjoyed today. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every other day, including a vlog on the weekends. And girl, it's a lot of work producing all this content. So I hope you enjoy it and subscribe and ring my bell to be notified of all the videos I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you're doing well talk to me down below about advent calendars tell me your perspective tell me which one you bought because i feel like we still all buy them even though we're like ugh, resentful i hope you stay safe take care and i'll see you in the next one bye